These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> All right, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here. Today, we're starting down up close because we're going to take a look at the Hastur AIO from, that's right, Mother Truckin' Cthulhu mods. Look at that. Spare O-rings and gaskets right out of the gate. <laughs> it comes with stickers and the Hastur AIO. Honestly, this looks pretty sick. I really like the orange. I really like those flat black panels. When I first popped this open, I thought, wow, that's real billet boxy size. But when you get it up close next to a billet box, eh, it's a little bit thicker. It's a thick boy. It does have a pretty billet boxy hand feel. Fire button up high over here. Panels off. What do we got? What is this? Ah, an 18650 battery adapter. So we have everything we need on one side. Battery goes in here. Up, down button, screen, fire button. Nicely done. I like that. I'm going to throw in my Ohm Life Ohm Run 21700. Wait a second. Did you see this lighting up over here? I believe it's five on, five off. Yeah, that was five off. One, two, three, four, five. Five on. One, two, three is going to be able to let us change the modes. See if we can see this. That's power wattage, P1, P2, voltage mode, stainless steel, nickel mode, titanium mode, custom TCR mode, bypass mode, back to wattage. Let's go to voltage because we can. Panel goes back on. It's kind of smoky so we can see the screen through it. In fact, is there a Peely guy on this? Oh, come on, Peely guy. I feel you. I feel you, Peely guy. Ah, now it can truly become a fingerprint magnet. Enjoy it while it lasts. Oh. Look how nice, look how shiny. Ah, it actually hasn't been getting too fingerprinty. I'm sure once we get liquid into the mix, that will change. This also seems like it's gonna be prone to some, maybe some hairline cracking. And on the other side, I got a Boro sized tank with a combination locking nut drip tip. You love to see it. The Boro tank that comes with it looks pretty nice and I'd like to use it. I like the front, the idea of a front fill right there. So we're gonna take the psych for another spin and see See how the psych does inside this Cthulhu tank. I will say I do like these types of Boro tanks that just separate so I can have a little base to like push the, you know, the deck of my RBA into. Then it just the chimney goes in through the top. It all presses together. Really well done. Theory says I should be able to screw down this locking nut and check atomizer. Check atomizer. Wonderful. Uh, it, uh, 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 it, it's, it's reading a 0.67, but it keeps telling me it's shorted. I mean, if I put this same thing inside of a billet box, reads a 0 0.4, reads a 0 0.4, reads a 0 0.4, just saying. Looks like this is the game we're gonna play today. All right, well, the only other Boro that I have going right now that I know works is the Ammo RBA sitting inside the Jake Scrapwood. So let's try this one. Also currently trying it with a locking nut on top. It's reading a 0.72, which is wrong, and it tells me it's shorted. All right, let's cross our fingers. This works. Shorted, shorted, what? This is just evidence that the ammo RBA actually works. It's 0.48, it's firing just fine in a billet box. Well, would you look at that? If I put the ammo inside of the Hastur with a billet box locking nut on top, it will actually read 0.7 and fire every time now. This isn't necessarily the RBA I wanted to use in this. I wanted to use the Psyche, you know, with their tank. Oh, I guess I can at least throw an Oleg drip tip on there, make it look real classy. Here's the thing, it's vaping fine because I was already using this ammo inside of another device. And I guess that's okay if we're just talking about the Hastur AIO as a whole, as a, as a unit. I'm just gonna say right out of the gate, it doesn't seem super compatible with some bridges that are out there. And even the one that it is compatible with that I have going right now, I can't use their integrated drip tip like locking nut drip tip. Maybe that's for the better so that we can use an Oleg. Here's the thing, I'm gonna use this for a few days. I wanna get to the bottom of this, of what fires in here, what doesn't fire in here, what the working to non-working ratio is. I don't know why it was telling me perfectly good things were shorted out or check the atomizer. It was reading wrong resistances. I'll catch up with you guys in a few days and we'll hand out some banana stickers. 
All right, here's the thing. It's been working rad for the last few days with the ammo RBA. I did do a little bit of troubleshooting and tried a few different bridges in here. The ether worked and fired in here. The Jason worked and fired in here. The M5 worked and fired in here with no problems. If I used a billet box locking nut, I think the problem is with the integrated locking nut drip tip, at least the locking nut integrated drip tip that I got. The only time I was getting check atomizers or showing me shorts was when I was using that integrated drip tip locking nut. But between the beginning of this video and right now, this little number arrived. This is the Cthulhu 850 RBA. So I am going to very quickly build this. And if it works and it fires and it works great, I'll meet you right back up here. We'll hand out some banana stickers. Let's go, 850. Same tank, no surprises here. Yep, 3.8 millimeter airflow for restricted lung. A little two post deck there for the inside. Yep, yep. Quick easy build, quick easy wick. I think I'm going to leave my wicks long and then put this on and cut it through the chimney. Kind of treating this like the M5. Perfectly satisfied by that wicking and I'm not gonna put any liquid on it yet. We're just gonna assemble the tank. And then, should have done this before I put it in here but I can still do it. Gotta change out that airflow pin. Let's be sure to keep an eye on that peak insulator. Here's where I'm just gonna put like two to three drops down the middle. Get it in here. <sighs> Ammo stays clean. All right, let's keep our fingers crossed. Would you just look at that? It's a thing of beauty. All right, bet we can just finish this now. Boop, and we'll boop like this. Keep that ribbon on the inside. Nice. It's time. Let's get back out to normal view and hand out some banana stickers. It's been vaping really nice. I just wanted to spend a little bit of time with this 850 RBA, and I'm pretty happy to report that it's been vaping really nice. The airflow on this is shockingly smooth. It doesn't seem to suffer nearly at all from the like hollow airflow, the like extremely hollow airflow in some cases that a lot of Boro RBAs tend to suffer from. Flavor on it's real, real nice. And even my wicking that I, <laughs> that I kind of like haphazardly threw in there Seems to be keeping up. It's wicking real nice. Haven't even approached anything remotely resembling a dry hit. As for the AIO itself, listen, it's pretty great. I like the hand feel of it. It's a little bit bigger than a billet box, but I like holding it. It feels a little bit thinner though because the doors aren't quite as thick. It has much thinner doors, so that kind of reduces the hand feel of it. I really like the button placement being kind of up here. It's real ergonomic, real comfy. Man, if it wasn't for the chip on the inside, that's kind of my only hang up about this. I've never had so much hassle with the chip before trying to get RBAs that I know work in here. I thought I narrowed it down to their integrated locking nut drip tip, and I think that is a culprit, but I also think how tight it gets tightened down is also a culprit. A culprit. A culprit. Using a billet box locking nut, I can Tighten this down and it'll work great. Doesn't give me check atomizers, doesn't give me any issues. I can also tighten this down maybe just a hair too far and that's when it'll suddenly throw me the wrong resistance and it'll say short it out. It's pretty replicatable. I even replicated it with the 850 RBA just to see if my theory held up and it did. So if I keep in mind that there is a sweet spot with the locking nut and don't use their included locking nut, well, then we have a pretty serviceable like billet box type device. Got a lot going for it, truly and honestly, but man, that board in there sketches me out and I think that board in there is going to keep this in that like seven and a half banana sticker area. There are obviously much better Boro compatible devices out on the market and much, much worse ones out on the market. And this one is a very better than fine Boro device. Shh. 
Oops. I'm just sitting here vaping, enjoying the flavor on this 850 RBA, so I guess that means it's the end of the video. I can't tell you how much these cost, and I can't tell you where on earth to get them, but I can tell you this. If you're a current adult cigarette smoker, maybe now's the time to stop. Better living through science, better living through technology. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market for you. In the description of this video, I'm going to put some links to Just Science, Just Education. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay smoke-free, you know, every single day. <coughs> it's like 1030. And then I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so. Let's cross our fingers that.